I want to talk about Ash today. Ash isn't one of my favorite Warframes. I'd say he's probably in the top 10 though, but that's just because me and my friend, uh, we enjoy playing Ash together. I've made this Ash build and it's pretty dang strong, but for a while I couldn't find a use for it. Could something be powerful but ultimately useless? You see, I'm the type of Warframe player that likes to hang out in Steel Path Mott and do endurance runs. And I couldn't figure out how to do an endurance run with this particular build because it's too slow to kill. And if I'm with a squad, then the entire point of the build is negated. Might as well run something else. As always, I want to point out that my builds are not beginner friendly, they're for advanced players. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that you can sit, play this build tomorrow having just started this game out yesterday. That's disingenuous. Archon shards really do not matter. Um, I put the energy ones here just to make me breathe a little bit easier. And also, ability duration, you can't go wrong with it. Here it is. Now, I want you to notice that I am running low on Ash. And this is where the gameplay loop comes in. It's endless lullaby. You're going to be keeping the enemy asleep. And that's where I realize the use for this build comes in. I have effectively turned Ash into a defense warframe. This build shines in defense missions. Arcane Ultimatum. Every time you kill an enemy with a finisher, you're going to be getting some armor back. A little bit of health just for an extra insurance. Multi-efficiency to keep that endless lullaby going longer. Natural talent in my playtesting has proven that it makes enemies fall asleep faster. Overextended, auger message just so that you have the extra range, and fatal teleport. Fatal teleport is pretty important just because enemies aren't always going to be asleep 100% of the time. They're they might wake each other up. Something might happen that might wake them up. And you see an enemy across the way that's asleep. You can teleport, execute them, and it'll put them back to sleep. This is the Daikyu from the Varuna build. Amalgam target acquired. Really, your primary does not matter. You're not going to be using your primary at all, really. Uh, the Bronco. I am working. Thank you, Ortis. I am working on getting on the incarnate form of this Bronco, but right now this Bronco only suits one purpose, and that's to be your panic button with dizzying rounds. Shots fired from less than 8 meters stun enemies and open up to finishers. 200% status chance. If you are caught without energy and not invisible, this is your best way to solve that problem. It has saved my life once or twice. This Kajadi, you know it's my favorite katana in the game, but also finishers turn wielder invisible for five seconds. So we're using Ash's ability to turn invisible. We're using the Skajadi to turn invisible. We're also using the Prisma Shade to turn invisible. And I do have revenge equipped so that the prisma shade does not attack sleeping enemies so here we are in the simulacrum with ash we're going to spawn in some corrupted heavy gunners steel path level 180s i'm only mr30 that's as far as i can go the gameplay loop is invisible sleep and then execute and the Endless Lullaby is going to keep these guys asleep indefinitely. The cool thing is, is that Ash's Bladestorm 
also procs endless lullaby and it keeps them asleep and if you ever get yourself in trouble you can just join in and become invulnerable and while I'm doing this my endless lullaby is refreshing it's not guaranteed to kill every enemy but it's a nice use of a panic button just in case you get yourself in some trouble it's a good way to turn invulnerable and keep yourself from getting caught up and killed but you see this they're still being caught by endless lullaby they're still going to sleep and every time i execute them the skajai turns me invisible ash turns himself invisible if you're ever caught without enemies around you and you need a little bit of a breather and then the shade turns ash invisible so basically it's going to be very rare that you're going to be attacked now the skajati build that i presented that's how i kill acolytes typically what i'll do is i'll execute an enemy give myself about you know 1200 armor and then just melee the acolyte to death because i can do that with this particular katana that's about it guys not much to say it's a powerful build but it's a boring build it's not meant for endurance runs but if you're running a defense mission you can run that defense mission indefinitely